Hello, YouTubers, hello, subscribers, kisses to all of you. I hope that you're having a wonderful night. This is my, I don't know how many times I've started, but anyway, it's late. I'm just going to just go for it. Kisses to all of you. Normally, I'm, but my nails need done. The appointment's tomorrow. I can't make it because we got ballet and tap. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I I don't know what it is. It's like I want my daughter, I just want to be able to give her a life that, you know, like I didn't have, but also teach her so much, you know, so that when mommy and daddy isn't here, she can take care of herself, you know? Anyway, kisses to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I... Don't edit my videos, so if I say something that I really don't want to, you know, say, then I have, I start over, and that hasn't happened in a while, so. Normally, I post them anyway. <laughs> Kisses to you guys. It's the Mimi Show. It's the Mimi Show. It's the Mimi Show. Uh-uh-oh, uh-uh-oh, uh-uh-oh. Yeah, now, I'm a little tired, so hang in there with me. But I wanted to put out a video for you guys. I really did. Um, I, even though I wanted to put out a video, Megan is boring. She's always been boring. And the only thing that got our attention is when she went rogue. And so, even now that she is wherever she is, um, that's what we expect. That's what we see. That's what she does. She's a manipulator. She's a blamer. She's a whiner. She's a um, narcissistic person. She wants to be front and center. I do believe she's upset because she's not getting the attention that Catherine gets. I believe she's upset because she's she's comparing her hang up with Catherine's. I was suicidal. I almost killed myself and you know, I didn't get this outpouring. That's how her mind thinks. Catherine's mind thinking like, "Oh, I wish those that are going through what I'm going through well." And you're not alone. She's not talking like a victim. Like Megan. Megan's the victim. And Catherine's the strength. That's where it is. Because Megan doesn't portray this feminist person. She doesn't portray this woman that's, that's going to, you know, change the world. No. She, she strikes me as a woman that is trying to do whatever it takes to make herself famous and and liked more than Kate and just to get to the top. But that's it. And so it, everything else really doesn't matter. And so father gets in the way, cut him off. Jessica's in the way, cut her off. Cut anybody out that's in the way of her getting to where she needs to be. <laughs> this has, I'm changing the subject. I was accident, well, I was listening to the Royal Grift. And she had on one of the Sussex Squad, I was listening to them. And it's just, it amazes me the way they attack Catherine. And not just Catherine, they attack the Queen. They attacked William. And I mean, you just go down the line. They were attacking. And I said to myself, I said, this right here makes no sense at all. Who would want a squad named after them that treats people the way the Sussex squad treats people? They, and I, they are not... That they are on a crusade of taking down the monarchy. 
they are sent something about some petitions and they're going to, um, Angela Levin. This is what I heard. That they're going to write to the networks, her boss, and all this stuff and, and get a campaign to get Angela Levin kicked out and removed from her job. You can't, you can't remove Angela Levin. Angela Levin isn't, a, she's a, um, a force to be reckoned with all by herself. She's written books. She's retired. She's just doing something. You can't mess up her reputation. It's solid. But the mere fact that the Sussex Squad is going to go after these list of people that they named, it bothered me. It almost felt, it felt bullyish. Like that's bullying people when you're going to... If, if if Angela is working or whatever, threaten her job by calling her manager and complaining about her what she says about Megan. No, she just tells the truth. And then the Sussex Squad doesn't like the truth. So now they want to ban Angela Living. Not just her. Angela Living. <laughs> Not just her, but us all. You know, I'm, yes, I'm kind of waiting on YouTube to just shut me down and do whatever they decide that they want to do. I'm not going to fight with them and play games with them. But I am going to speak and say what I want to say and get it out, Sussex Squad. There is something seriously, seriously wrong with a group that hates The only thing I heard on the world grip was hate. You hate. You hate like Megan. If you guys stuck to praising her and, and, and like you do, praising her, talking about her international women's on stage moment, like that was something to be proud of. You know, her, oh, her Riviera Orchard website that just came out that ain't nothing on there that you can't buy nothing. Not that I was. And not that I've been back on there that one time. That one. <laughs> I mean, the way they put her on a pedestal, it's, 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 it's unhealthy. In my book. But to sit and plot and plan to write letters and into a campaign to go after the royal family, to go after Angela Levin or whoever else that you guys have on your list that Megan is condoning, you're no better than her. How are you different from your master? Because she, as soon as it hit the fan, because it's coming out, that there's a Sussex squad. And they are the trolls. They are the bots. They are the boozies. They are the, the, uh, the cult. When it gets out deep down in an American voice, be like, oh, the Sussex squad. TMZ. Page six. Hello. There's a Sussex squad. If you're paying attention, y'all always getting the news late. And then when the story really hit, then y'all act like y'all done broke it. Breaking news. And we were like, it's been there. You just been ignoring it. But to, that's not what we do. We don't sit over here and plot and and go after the I, I don't I'm not going I'm not plotting to go after that channel and get them shut down or or um call the YouTube executive and say oh this particular group is bashing the royals <laughs> anyway 
I don't know if I did the Mimi song or not. Let's do it again. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. Uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh. Yeah. I'm tired. Megan is about to be a forgotten flower. A forgotten, and I not flower in a good way. <laughs> she is gonna be forgotten in a sense that people just are not gonna want to hear it no more, even though they already don't. This nutty buddy, this floor mat she's gonna be selling, it sounds so cheap. It does. Nothing, nothing luxury. Megan doesn't reek of luxury. She doesn't, it's not like, she, she doesn't, she doesn't catch me as someone in the kitchen making Nutty Buddy and, and no. And sewing and knitting and putting her name on it and trying to make money off of it. This is, you know what that's telling me? It's telling me that this is the only thing she has. No one is knocking down her door. No, they're not. The phone has stopped ringing because now she has to rebrand herself. <laughs> she has to brand herself by coming out with the orchard. Okay, I don't even know how many subscribers she has yet. Does she have a million? Let me know, because I'm curious. I'm not buying nothing from you. I don't like you. I'm not buying anything from you. I don't like you. I don't like the way you treat your father. I don't like the way you treat your family. I don't like that you have a Sussex squad. I don't like the way you treat Catherine. I don't like the way you treat your sister, Samantha. I don't like the way you treat your friends. I don't like the way you treat us. I don't like the way you got on International Women's Day and started talking about yourself instead of talking about some women that were inspiration. No, you got on the stage like you, you were the inspired one. We were supposed to be inspired by you. You married a prince. And became became that. You didn't be you wasn't before then something. Before Harry, you were some we didn't know. Now she gets on stage and walks on stage like she'd been doing it all her life. Or like she'd been doing that before she met Harry. <laughs> it's weird to see. It's amazing to watch. That she just walks on the stage and talks about how wonderful she is and how we can come together as a community with love and family and passion when she doesn't even care about family and community. How are you going to care about a community and you don't care about your family community? That That's that dumb stuff. That's that stupid stuff. Run into you all day. Oh, let me get this picture. <laughs> let me go get a cake. That, see? And like someone said, she had the cameras ready, action, let's go. Megan has been trying to build her reputation by doing charity work, doing Invictus, and now running to you all day and trying to keep, you know, on and on and on. But every time she takes two steps forward, five is back. She's She was a loser in 2023 and she's going to be a loser in 2024. She is. She's already started out that way. What's new? Riviera, the web, Archie Well website, everything's new. Everything's new, but it's the same. The only thing new about it is that she's using the royal, the her royal influence, her royal background for um through her husband.
to get to get what she wants. Now she gonna put. This is the Sus Sussex muffins. You can get them for thirty dollars. Oh, okay, because it's the Sussex. <laughs> oh my God, I am. I'm supposed to be doing a video anyway. Kisses to all of you guys. It is late. We are up late. We did some um, Easter eggs, Easter stuff. And I bought her some stuff, but she also has this big basket coming. She's rotten. And I can't get my nails done until I don't know when. This is um, Nina and Lady C. <laughs> and here's the thing. Like I said, Megan, I, I do believe this. I really truly do believe this. I believe that the only thing Megan has going for herself is drama. That's the only thing she can sell. Everything else is not going to work. She started off selling drama. That's what she got in doing. Because this Riviera thing, it's not going to keep her in Montecito in that mansion. And someone said, oh, thank you. Um, the Sussex Squad was thanking Megan for taking care of Harry, like getting a job. Okay. Let's go, guys. I bet they probably regret, like Harry and Megan, probably looking at this thinking, oh, we could have actually been part of this. But because I think that Megan was annoyed that she felt she was playing second fiddle to Catherine and, you know, she wasn't marrying the person who would be in line to the throne. So I think she was disappointed with the position she was now in. I think that they must be regretting walking away. Do you think that they're regretting walking away? Okay, so in the beginning, I was saying that Megan's fading. Okay, and what I mean by that, there's nothing new coming out about her or nothing interesting anyone is talking about other than stupid stuff like this. And I call it stupid because it's a stupid question. No, no. Did they make the wrong decision for leaving? As if they wanted to turn around and get back in there. Megan's not going back to the UK. She is happy. She is happy being around. She, mm -mm. does she not know? Do Nina not know that Megan is living her best life, she thinks, in Hollywood? And she is working hard to be with the who's who's and, and, and get another deal, hopefully. Hopefully someone will be like, come on, Megan. We'll, I'm sure they, the Kardashians said, come be on our show. That's, that's the only way she's going to be able to stay in Montecito is get on a reality show. Because everybody will watch that. Anyway. No, these are, these are weird questions to me. And it goes back to what I was saying earlier. Megan's fading. She's fading. Since Catherine sat on that bench, she shut a lot of people up including Megan, and, um, but the Sussex Squad is loud, and it was in the Sun paper about the Sun Sussex Squad, which it, to me is getting more and more out there that this guy named Boozy that Megan knows is out there trashing Catherine. But he don't know Megan? Okay. Maybe they ain't friends no more. I doubt that. No. I, that's what I truly, truly believe. I believe she's fading. This other... Oh, I wish I could do this one more. There was this other channel that was praising her. Saying how much there, she was going to make millions and millions of dollars off the American Orchard. And I just laughed. I said, no, she's not. She's got to have a body of, of friends, a body of fans, a body of people that care and like her. And that is not the case because the Sussex Squad is not as big as you think. 
It is not. They just sit around, plot, plan, and be evil. Sending letters to people, getting people fired, doing stupid stuff, messing with Dan. No, Megan is watching. See, she's doing something with some of these channels. I know she's watching Lady C. And in the way they have now seeing the things unfolding. And what is unfolding? <laughs> Yep, they're going in ob obscurity. It is. It's seeing it. Sorry. You just see it. That her light is dimming. And it is dimmed. And people are starting to... I am. And Americans, if they re read and understand that... The Sussex Squad belongs to Boozy. Boozy belongs to Megan. Megan is in, she's the head over this thing. And for her to be a part of that and be on the stage at the International Women's Day, I'll never forget it, and talk about bullying. And your squad does that. They're the bullies. And you're over that. So you're allowing them to bully. They bullied Catherine into have to say something because the trolls were out. The Sussex Squad was. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I think if I had known, it would have been better to, you know, as they were saying that, defending her, commenting. And saying, no, you got it wrong. This is da 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 Pierce Morgan had joined in. Everybody had joined in. But the ring leader, the Sussex Wad. <laughs> no, they're over there trashing the Royals in a very disrespectful way. And then Nina wants to know, are they regretting leaving? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I said, I said, don't touch nothing. I touch. I touch. I know you're touching it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You're going way too far. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Tell them how you love to be in mama's makeup. <laughs> What colors do you see? A red, blue, red, red or blue brush. Look at that. A blue brush. You need the paint brush? <laughs> Let me see if I can find the brush. No, okay, here. Here's the brush. Here's the brush. Where's your daddy? Did he fall asleep? A goof. Okay, now I'm going to have to, like, clean it all off. Okay, tell everybody bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Please say it for Mommy. Say bye-bye. Wave. Say bye-bye. Come on, come on. Say bye. Say bye. No. That's so rude. You said no. Still up. <laughs> Still up. She's an idol. She is. And she loves mommy's makeup. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed her. I just let her do what she wants. Well, I like, I like for her to explore. I don't want to, like, stop letting her explore. But I also want to let her know what's dangerous and what's not. So, anyway, let's back to Nina. No, Nina, Megan is not trying to go back to the UK. She never wants to go back. She never wanted to be there. She always wanted to be in Hollywood. And she always wanted to be over here making money and living in um, Montecito. Oh, here she goes. Oh, God. I, I said, I said, I said, um... Go give her her Easter basket. The one we made. Yeah. Okay. 
No, Nina, Megan is not. God, I know I've said this like a thousand times, but it's just true. Like, why are they asking these questions? You know why? Because Megan's been quiet and they have nothing to say. Don't say nothing. <laughs> here I am talking about her. Well, they're talking about her, so here I am. But I've noticed that a lot are not talking about her. They're talking about Catherine. They're trying to figure out a way to forgive themselves, <laughs> especially some of them channels. I mean, like, dang. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's an interesting observation, Nana. I actually don't think Megan is capable of regret. She isn't capable. Her, her personality type is not that of somebody who learns from their mistakes. Yes, she's not a person of regrets. Mm -mm. She's a person that blames. It's never her fault. She's never going to take responsibility for failure. Ever. When um, Nef um, Spotify said, hey, out, grifter. She came out with, you know, they didn't give her direction and they didn't do this for her. And we parted with mutual, you know, just lying. Lying and blaming. Blaming, saying that they didn't give her direction. They shouldn't. You don't want to say that you could have a chit chat with your girlfriends and friends. No, you don't know what you're doing because you can't relate to people. No, um, Lady C said she's not capable. She's not capable of 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 admitting like she's done something wrong. She's not capable of doing that. It's not in her DNA. She's going to either play a victim or she's going to blame someone or, you know, it's never her fault. She never takes accountability. We know that. And so that's what also makes her not likable because she trashed the royal family like but never once said, thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you for this wedding. Thank you for teaching me this. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. No. Mm -mm. She went with racism and uh, suicide and then stuck with that and tried to force it down our throats to believe it. Until we said, no, that, that, ain't, what ain't, that ain't how it went down. Now, your career is in the toilet. You got a site that ain't going to move nowhere. And you got the Archie Well that you have no donors. And so, it's over. Oprah ain't hanging out with you. The Sussex Squad was talking about, oh, um, Oprah is Megan's friend. They do hang out. And I'm like, so? So what? Oprah ain't Oprah's reputation ain't all that right now. <laughs> no, because she was on Exempia and then lied about it, lied and said that she was running up mountains, losing weight, and she didn't want to cheat, but was cheating all this time in my book. Blames everybody else for her errors. And no, she 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 is not that of somebody who learns from their mistakes. Mm. She she blames everybody else for her errors. And she's tried every trick in the book. She blames everybody else for her errors, failures in her situation, what went down, it wasn't like that. No, the two-hour car chase. No, no responsibility for that. None whatsoever. Sat in the back of that taxi and looked stupid. And, 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 and not just stupid, but looked helpless. That stupid stuff. 
Like I would have said, driver, listen, S stop, let them get their photo. Did you get it? Okay, I'm going home now. Skadoodle. <laughs> mm -mm. No, they were chased around. No, you want to be chased. You want to be, you You wish you had the attention, the love, the outpour the, that Catherine got this past getting, continually to get. You wish you had at least a little bit of her popularity because you know what? She shuts you down. To me, she shut Boozy up, but he's still talking. And A, she either doesn't care that he does that or she doesn't have B, she doesn't have control, which I doubt that because she was running it. You can, you, you have control over the Sussex squad. You can make an announcement. I, did, I am not affiliated and associated with the Sussex squads because I don't believe in their abuse of, upon my family. No. Nah. That's somebody with, with common sense. And Megan act like. She doesn't think of those things. She's only thinking about herself. She's thinking about going on stage. And what she's going to wear. And how she's going to look. And then what questions they're going to ask her. About her being the victim. Yes, I'm the, I'm being bullied online. And it's the, it's the CEOs won't do anything about it. These platforms. But you went on national TV. You went on national TV on the Oprah show and just went completely nutty with your family and the royal family. You just dissed everyone in one segment. You talked about the queen. You talked about Catherine. You talked about William. You talked about Charlotte. You talked about your father. You talked about Samantha. You talked about being suicidal. You talked about um, you know, this, the racism. Your story wasn't even believable. C couldn't it just it, it was not it's not believable. All that did not happen to you. And if it was that bad, then why why did you marry into the family if it was going to be if you wasn't gonna have if you knew that you wasn't going to do Sussex Squad, if your girl knew that she did not want to live by any rules or be a part of a business that's been in motion for hundreds and thousands of years, but she gonna go up in there and start. No. No, Megan was planning her exit because you can't tell me that the that her popularity was so much higher when she was in the UK. Even after Mexit, her popularity was still good. Now it's worse than ever. I wonder why. Hmm. Is it the Sussex squad? Is it that she doesn't talk to her father? Is it that she's fake? She is so fake. I, for the first time, like I can really see a fake person. Fake liking people. Fake genuality. Fake being nice to people and, and thinking that, oh, they're wonderful. It No, get the camera. Don't, I'm going to get on my knees and pretend like I care about this person in this wheelchair. Like Lady C said, she's a blamer. She will never take responsibility. It's always someone else's fault. And when it's always someone else's fault and it's never yours, you can never change. You can never fix. You can never go any further than what than what you're stuck. People can't 
People can't talk to you and tell you something that will empower, empower you or help you. No, you'll repeat it and keep it for word salad and pretend like you're doing it, but ain't. Lying, scheming. <laughs> She's lying, scheming, manipulating, and bullying. She is still doing those things right now. To keep herself absolved of all responsibility. No, I think her her anger. I've I've been told that she is enraged by the situation because no matter what she does, it flops, and no matter what Catherine does, even when she does nothing, please. <laughs> um, I mean that infuriating. It is funny. Catherine don't do nothing. She doesn't have to say nothing. She just walks around and do her do what she do and 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 serve the monarchy and is a goddess. And Megan hates that. And it showed when Catherine was sitting outside on her bench talking to us and letting us know what was going on with her. That's that's believable, Megan. You wasn't believable. You were, you're not, you're, you're too much of a victim. You can't, it can't be everybody else's fault all the time. All the time. And it's the same. No. Catherine showed us strength, humility, grace. Humble. I mean, she just uh, just showed it all. It did. It was, and and you couldn't help but just be like drawn to her, and and crying and just being like, my God, what you know? And making them. We we wish you well, Catherine. We wish you well. No, you don't. You don't wish her well. If you did, you would have wished her well when she went into the hospital. But no, we're not going to do that, are we? Uh -huh. But no, I, you see, it, was, it wasn't only about the position. It was about the money. Uh. And Megan came into the royal family with the expectation that she'd be able to milk those others as if mm. they were a flatted calf and that she was going to be able to end up having a billionaire lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But she has a billionaire. Yes. But she did. She was not planning on ever staying in Great Britain. She was always going to exit. She was always exiting. She knew that when she knew that way before. I'm bringing him over here. Sorry. I'd stand without the money. And they're quickly uh, running into serious problems financially. Mm. Oh, they hold <laughs> Every every deal collapses, and you know all these phantasmagoric figures that they were banding about. The deals are good. Limonado, Limonado, Archie Will, and um, American Riviera Orchard. That's it. That's it. One's a charity. One one's a tig, <laughs> and the other one. Is a no name brand. I don't even know what to call them. Ain't nobody even heard of them. Lemonado. She gonna do so much stuff. She done bust out like she finna do so much. And ain't done nothing. But, ooh, website. Oh, okay. Instagram. Is that where she is? I think that's where she is. Instagram portrait. Okay. Now what? <laughs> now what? 
Still nothing. Still crickets. I just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see people rushing to buy anything. I, because I just don't. I don't believe whatever she's selling is going to be coming out of some luxuriness. Because you got to invest your money into the luxury brand. And if you... What is it? Oh, she's going to get spawned? I don't know. I don't know. She had me at Nutty Buddy in the kitchen. In the kitchen, stirring something. Like somebody said, the only thing she needs to... No, only thing she knows how to make is chicken. That's what I thought. You're a cook now? She went from an actress to a cook to um, Harry's wife, being a philanthropist, being a um, influential <laughs> influencer, you know. I mean, what else? What else is on her resume? She's been in Vogue twenty times. She wanted us to know. I think I'm guessing. Just that resume on that website told me everything I needed to know. This woman is vain. She is conceited and stuck on herself. And it is nasty. Because why would you need to put out your resume unless they're trying to get hired? Now, that's a different story. We'll never reach their bank account. And it's... No. And they're quickly... She said whatever they're doing is not going to reach their bank account. In other words, their oh, ventures are not going to be successful. Financially. Mm. Oh, every, every deal collapses. And, you know, all these phantasmagoric figures that they were banding about will never reach their bank account. And it's... No, she, she's not capable of learning a lesson. Which uh, is tragic. She's not. She's not. No, she's not listening. She's not listening to nobody. She listens to her brain and what she says goes, goes. She's the boss. She's the boss over everything. So whoever comes into her circle, she's going to try to control that. And then they're going to realize, well, I can't work with her. You know, I can't do this job if she's going to do it for me. And then they decide, let me get out of here. <laughs> let me leave. She ain't, this ain't right. <laughs> I wish they come out and tell us. But for her personal character and personality flaws, she would have now been the most popular human being on earth. Catherine yeah. wouldn't be. She Had she played with a straight bat, she would have knocked Catherine for a six. Instead of which, Catherine has knocked her for a six. And That's yeah, nice. Yeah. That is so true. I saw it. When Megan stepped on the scene, she, she, took, she took center stage. She took center stage. Mm hmm And... I saw Catherine step aside. But even when they were together, all eyes were now on the new chick, the new girl on the block, Megan. Who was she? What is she about? So, like Lady C said, I truly believe that Megan was the, even though Catherine's queen to be, Megan was the it girl. You were it. You were famous. You became the most famous person in the world. She, I don't get it. I don't get that she's famous now, but with a very sourness. With a very, Sussex Squad, it's a very sourness. Your girl got some issues. And then as you guys continue to sit over there and ignore the obvious, it's, I mean, most of it, I don't get, <laughs> but 
I get if you just want to like her just because she's beautiful or whatever the case may be. That's fine. But to me, to be okay with her behavior, I don't get that. I don't get how they can sit on there and overlook her behavior and then have a list, laundry list of stuff to tell us about the royals. I'm not doing anything either because Catherine is lovely and Megan, I don't know why she thought that uh, that she'd taken drawn the short straw. Megan had a brilliant straw because the fact is she didn't have to be the person up front so you can sort of go under the radar and get absolutely everything yes. without the, the pressure of it but they walked away. That's their own fault. Okay, so before I go, one more video, okay? Listen to these two idiots. She's going to make millions from this. I think she will. I think there's a big market for this. And we're not just talking about in, in the UK, obviously. In the United States, I think there's a huge market for this. And I think there's lots of people who, some people believe her or not, there's lots of people who love her and will buy into that brand. And actually, they will buy into the brand. Her brand is cheap. It seemed cheap, cheap, and more cheap, and cheap again. Cheap, and then cheap, and then cheap again. It's cheap. It does, it, to me, she can't make nothing that's exquisite, you know, luxury. She can't do anything that's luxury. She's, to me, she's failed at that. Excuse me, because that's not the woman that you are. Like, you're nutty, buddy. Wait, how much love are you putting into this? Are you just going to manufacture and have people just stir some stuff up in there and put some nuts in there and some butter and keep moving. <laughs> That's what I think. No, I don't think her brand is going to be this big successful. First of all, she got too many ideas. She got too many nutty buddies and oils and lamps and candles and no, slow down. <laughs> She's going to do all this stuff, but ain't nothing out there. Ain't nothing out there on the website, but she's going to do all this. She's going to make millions and millions of dollars. Okay. Whether they like her or not, um, I'm not sure that will influence their decision much. But if the products are good, they're up to scratch, they're quality, and other influencers and celebrities are using them, then people will certainly get involved. So she seems to think... That if she's got good quality, that ain't going to happen. Is <laughs> she going to find someone? Okay, we'll see. So, that ain't going to work. And then, what celebrities are going to be buying them? Is Oprah going to be in a commercial talking about, buy Megan's Nutty Buddy. <laughs> and I'm going to run out and want to get it. She's already proven it. She did that coffee commercial. People wasn't busting down that door trying to buy that coffee. That was the sign. But Megan and Harry can't really win because no, they can't. people are calling they call them lazy. They call them yeah. grifters. They yeah. say they're not creative. They shouldn't be doing. They shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Then she launches. Okay. So he said they're lazy, which they are, and they should be doing this and they should be doing that. Let me rewind it a little bit. Um, I'm not sure that will influence the decision much. But stuff. if the products are good, they're up to scratch, they're quality, and other influencers and celebrities are using them, then people will certainly get involved. That's what I need. I need Gwyneth Paltrow to wear my perfume so everybody else can buy it. No. Your brand should... If, if Megan is this famous person, now that she's a Mary Prince... And her reputation should be on point. She shouldn't have to have celebrities do that. And may um, Oprah. Oh, mm, the the nutty buddy tastes really good, Megan. So that's gonna make me want to run out and get it because Oprah bought it. No, that's that stupid stuff. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, I'm getting tired. I'm gonna let you guys go soon. Just a second. No, and then look, listen to what he says. I feel like Meghan and Harry can't really win because no, they can't. people are calling, they call them lazy, they call them grifters, yeah. they yeah. say they're not creative, they shouldn't be doing, they shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. 
They're not creative. If they were creative, then why didn't she have more people to interview for her Spotify? Okay. If she wasn't a grifter, then why would the CEO come out and say that she wasn't? He said that she was because they didn't have any ideas. You know, Harry was talking about getting together with Latterman Putin and Donald Trump. It's that stupid stuff. Then she launches this rebrand and she's being told off for doing a rebrand. Yeah. And why she's are you told, using your royal titles for it? So just she's told off for doing a rebrand. No, no. The problems are there. She's controversy. First of all, she's using the royals. She's using all royal stuff on that website, which Elizabeth said that she cannot. So is she going to be putting that sealed on there when she's sending stuff in to people? Okay. Then he says that, what else did he say? That people are telling them what to do. No, they ain't listening. <laughs> they ain't listening to nobody but themselves. Come on. People are telling them what to do. And who's listening to who? Megan, they, listen, she's got too many CEOs, too many ma managers, too many people that have walked out on her. But it's everybody else's fault. <laughs> Lady C just got through saying that all they do is sit around and blame. Look at these two doing exactly what Megan does. Blame. They like them. And, but to me, if you like these two, then that means you got to overlook all the shenanigans. And you're saying that it's okay for Megan to treat people this way and be this way. And we still support this person. That's nasty. I don't, I forgot his name. Anyway, I just, Ernest, I think. No, that ain't his name. I just find it unbelievable, but they look past all the debauchery. But unlike some of our own royal family, mm -hmm. they are making money off their own backs now. Yeah, absolutely. And they're not slagging off. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's true or not, but I heard that they were giving the money to charity. And I heard that um, that Beatrice and um, Eugene have to make their own money. The royal family this time are doing it. Exactly. And this is the problem that people will always find something wrong with what they are doing. If they weren't doing anything, you guys are lazy. If they launch a lifestyle brand, how dare you launch a, li a lifestyle brand when, you know, Prince Charles just walked down the road, King Charles just walked down the road, or when, you know, the, the criticism came that how dare Meghan the Duchess of Sussex launch a lifestyle brand mm -hmm. whilst her sister-in-law, Catherine the Princess of Wales, was suffering with cancer. One does not affect the other. Yeah. Meghan the Duchess of Sussex didn't know it, and she has her own she don't care. She knew that she was going in there to surgery and, and she didn't say get well soon. No, she started doing her own thing. Oh, Catherine's down. Let me let me get this out. That's what I believe. Let me get let me seize this opportunity. No, it wasn't a good time. Because King Charles, and this this is them talking to each other, but leaving out stuff because they need a third person, me. And what about King Charles saying that he had cancer? Megan launched after that. And didn't have to because ain't nothing going on with either site. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. What? What's going on? Megan... Selling Nutty Buddies at the one. And then Archie uh, Ar Archie Well is um, taking donations. Mm, okay. No, this is that stupid stuff. Life to live. And also, you cannot bring Meghan and Harry into every single story that's associated with yes, the royal can. family. Yes, we can. Go on, I'll, I'll do it again. Okay, go on. Name me a real story. I'll do it. Um, Just for instance... You know, the, the criticism came. Well, see, and see, that's what she doesn't understand is in the royal family, like if there is an event going on, you don't want to take the shine off the main event that's going on. Respect that person. And then she could have launched it 
any time. She launched it at the same time he was going, William was going on stage. I mean, it's just, you know, a lot of people thought it was distasteful because it was. This wasn't about you, but you made it about you. All, all me, 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 me. Okay, it's getting late. I'm, I'm talking. Um, no, they leave things out. But how dare Meghan the Duchess of Sussex launch a lifestyle brand mm -hmm. whilst her sister-in-law, Catherine the Princess of Wales, was suffering with cancer. One does not affect the other. Yeah. Meghan the Duchess of Sussex did. I don't know what she meant by that, but out of consideration, out of, out of the goodness of your heart, you just wait because something is happening with someone else in your family and you don't need to be taking the attention away from that person. You need to allow them to have their whatever they're going through that moment. But no, she can't stand it. She can't stand the fact that um, Kath Catherine is getting so much good press and a lot of it. No, and she has her own. And I heard people have been writing. One of my subscribers put the address in the um, comments, and I pinned the post. And so to go right to Catherine, and I may do that too. And also, I want to, um, I was going to say something. When I pin your post, I want it at the top because I want other people to be able to. Um, read your post so if i say i'm pinning your post you know it 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 brings me joy to put it at the top it really does because it really means like you really put thought into your comment you're really saying something and not that not that any not that no one put thought in their comment but i feel like oh somebody else is going to want to hear this too that's what i'm meant to say life okay. to live and also you cannot bring megan and harry into every single story that's associated with yes, the royal can. family yes we can go on, I'll, I'll do it again okay go on. name me a real story i'll do it um just for instance say princess anne lost a shoe yeah well where were we at harry and megan yeah, where were they? I get you. I where get where you. they went happened? I get you. Princess yeah. Eugenie dropped her engagement ring down the plug hole. Yeah, well, they probably had something to do with it, didn't they? Right. You know what they're like. I see we've done that. No, that didn't even make sense. Where are they? What does that got to do with anything? No, Megan and Harry brought this drama, this attention on themselves. We didn't decide that we were going to get on the Oprah show and do all that stuff that she's did, that she's done and what she's doing. The Sussex squad. They are like, they don't know that there's a Sussex squad and they know that they out there. But do they call them out? No, they're sitting on this panel praising Megan. And I'm, I'm going to look at some of the comments when I leave. I'm going to read some of them. Let's see what they say. Just a second. William about to give a speech at Diana's award. And what did Megan do? Funny how you forget about that. That was from Debbie. Megan didn't launch the brand while Princess Anne lost a shoe. Or King Charles was walking down a road. <laughs> She launched it in the middle of the Diana Awards. She can't possibly be so thick as to think that it wouldn't have pushed back. That's what I'm saying. So these two are up here and they're getting blasted. They're getting blasted with these comments. They're sitting up here, Patty, Megan, and Harry on their back are trying to, and they don't have a case. And so it, this this group, them getting together, praising Megan, you need a, you need me sitting right in the middle, questioning them, and challenging them, and just saying, well, what about this? What about the Sussex Squad? You know about the Sussex Squad. Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> okay. 
pesky Martin Seaton's. Fia Hagen, I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> kidding, of course. I love Harry and Meghan. That's truthfully. You uh, Fia, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> she said, I love Harry and Meghan. We know you do because you always talk highly of them and then you defend them and they're not defendable. Listen, guys, it's an hour. I'm so tired. I hope that you have a lovely Easter with your family or your friends. Kisses to all of you. All um, I know a little bit. She's a mess. I love her so much. Um, and I'll let her know that you guys said bye-bye. And um, my husband as well. I'll let you know. He wanted me to tell you guys hello and to thank you so much for your support because he gets excited when he sees my numbers go up and he's like, hey, babe, did you see your numbers? And I'm like, yes, they're going up. So kisses to my subscribers. Thank you so, so very much. Sorry I was a little tired and draggy tonight, but it is three or four o'clock in the morning. And yes, she's up. Kisses.